What's up guys, Isaac here and I'm chilling down in the car in the morning as usual. And it's meant to be a super hot day today. It's gonna be 42 degrees Celsius, which is, I don't know how much that is in phony American Imperial units. You guys need to change over to the real metric system. Catch up to the rest of the world guys, I'm sorry. But anyway, I wanna make this quick video discussing why you should spend money on books and generally on anything that's uh, related to your self-improvement. Well, I used to be someone who used to uh, allegedly pirate ebooks and stuff like that. Allegedly. And I did this because, you know, I didn't want to pay for my books. I was like, fuck that. Why would I, why would I pay money for my books when I can just get it off kick ass torrent? I mean, kick ass torrents. Rest in peace. Now, what this happens is this kind of makes you. It helps you create the habit of hoarding where you're just downloading heaps of things, downloading hundreds of books that you never read. Whereas if you actually buy your books, whether it be from the bookshop, the hard copy, from iBooks, Kindle, or Audible, the audio books, you will have a bigger incentive to read it because you don't want to feel like an asshole for spending money on something and not using it. So you're more likely to actually read the book and get the benefits from it. And this is the same with programs that you might pirate online. Spend money on it, because you need to get in the habit of investing in yourself. You need to get in the habit of spending money for your self-investment, because you have to understand that in the grand scheme of things, $30 here and there for a book isn't really anything. Especially when that book can have that one or two good ideas that changes your life. So this is where people get fucked up. They think that the book has to have hundreds of ideas that are going to change your life. When in reality, when you read a book, you, especially when you read lots of books, you start realizing that a lot of books have a lot of filler material. They have things that don't really apply to you. They have things that you don't really need. However, they might have the one or two good ideas that are life-changing. And what's $20 for that? That's it's priceless. If the book can increase your confidence, increase your self-esteem, uh, make you smile on a certain topic, uh, tell you how to invest your money, and stuff of that nature, that can really change your life, of course it's going to be worth that $20, So learn to invest money into your self-improvement whether it be seminars, books, whatever. Spend your real money. Spend that hurt money because you're going to be more likely to actually go through the material. So go, go buy yourself a bookcase and fill that shit up. Go buy yourself some books. Go spend that money. And yeah, see how your life changes, guys. If you guys enjoyed that video, peace, like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. I'll be seeing you tomorrow. Just do it!